What's going on? What's cracking everybody? Welcome back to another Is This Reefing video. I wanted to make a follow up to my last video, which was um, getting back to basics um, and just kind of addressing some of the things and just wanting to reach out to uh, reach out to you guys, give you guys a little update of where things are and how things are going. Because uh, I just appreciated all the comments and everything. Sorry, my cat just there's like two three boxes behind me and he's going triple buck over here. But Anyways, just wanted to make another update video, you know, um, I really appreciated everybody's comments, everybody telling me, you know, what they would do, or, or, or sometimes they were in the same situation as I, uh, shout out to, I think it was like, um, Co Reefer, or Colorado Reefer, I think he goes by for, uh, uh, making me feel better, you know, telling me that he, he reefs just like I do, we just, you know, swing for the fences, but, um, I think it's calculated, it's definitely a calculated move, you know, but, um, like, you know, like we do every video, let's just go around so you guys can get an update of where things are in this tank. All fish are good, even the plus one that I have um, that we can talk about later. I cannot stop myself. I understand. I don't, you know, don't at me. But, um, for, okay, actually, first off, let's do this. I did get a new skimmer, okay? The day I uploaded that video, I got a Bubble, Bubble Magus Curve 5 Elite that arrived like 10 minutes after I made the video or as I was making it, I don't remember. Either way, I have it now. And whenever that video went live, I threw it in the tank and I would just like to show you what six days of just the worst, the worst poop you could actually fish poop right there. Now, in reality, to be honest with you, there's probably only like up to that much but to be honest, it's because I, um, I uh, put the tank in feed mode and forgot to turn the skimmer off. So obviously the water level rise, it pushed a little bit of extra foam, but this has been like a week or a week and a half. Okay. So if you watched my latest video, awesome. If you haven't definitely go back and check it out so that you understand that this was in my tank. I was feeding heavily. I showed you how I feed at the end of the day. So we all know that now this was 100% in the tank, which obviously probably caused what? That's right, phosphates, nitrates to shoot up. Also, there's the whole idea of, you know, the all free for my alkalinity being up. I haven't actually checked my alkalinity um, in a couple days. I'm just, I'm trying to let it settle and then I'll start testing a lot more. Um, but since I put the skimmer in two days after I put the skimmer in and it broke in instantly because there was just too much for it to like mess around, um, my Ghanis are back, um, essentially almost full extension with these, these are coming back. Uh, these were fine. I don't know what's going on with them, but they're, they're in and out, but I'm more concerned with these because they were in first, but this looks like it's coming back. So that is awesome. Um, these two uh, anemones swapped places. They're just, they're really messing up with my zoas. Like they're all dying. But you can see that these kind of stretched. Um, the stretching, I believe, is lighting. That's what everyone's telling me, really. And this is an AI Prime 16 HD, uh, 13 inches off the top of the water. And um, I've had it lower, but it just created this massive hot spot. You know what I mean? So I did raise it. So there is lighting concerns, but at this point, I'm not really worrying about this anymore. Just going to leave this light going. I say that and I could end up with a Hydra tomorrow. So I just need to watch what I'm saying. Um, this anemone, which is a Jolly Rancher, I did have over here. It found its way out of the cup and I found it glued to the glass right here. And I was just watching it get pulled as it pulsed. And I was like, well, this is just, this is just not good. Again, I do not wipe my glass for videos because honestly, this is reefing, you know, you, you're going to see what I'm going to see. I'm not going to make this pretty for you. Um, but the cotton candy, let me see if I can fix this color for you. It's not really any better fish. Get out of the way, bro. Um, it's coming out a lot more. It seems a lot healthier. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, this one right here. Uh, I think this is a uh, black light torch, and then that one's a something else. I forget. I'm sorry, but purple hammer, and then this is like a teal cristata torch. I got I got some of these from Queen City Corals. But anyways, you guys can see Duncan happy as can be. I move the blastos over here. Uh, three head, little pink tip, 
Frog Spawn doing great. My uh, Acan Island doing great, or Micro Musso, whatever you want to call them. And I went to a Petco recently who happens to have um, saltwater fish, and they had Maxima clams, thirty dollars. Um, I had to buy that because there's just there's no reason I could have walked out of the store without that. They had two. Uh, I covered my hand over the light. This is the only one that reacted, so I was like, I gotta buy you. The other one just didn't. So I'm like, eh, I want a reactionary clam. So definitely got that one. Um, it kind of seems like the pink is actually coming back, which is good in this Recordia because I'm afraid if it goes, it's just gone for good, you know. But overall, the tank is um, it's doing real healthy. Um, and so if I hop down here into the sump, um, I'm going to turn the whites on a little more. Is this the blue? Yeah, I'll turn the whites on a little more. Um, I'm trying to build this 10 gallon tank eventually here. So my goal is I've been seeding a lot of live rock and trying to really just, you know, um, I can take all of this and put it into a 10 gallon. I'll make a video there just like how to make a quick 10 gallon. Um, and one of the things that I picked up that you're not going to be able to see, I don't think is unless it'll zoom in, I got a little clown. And I've just never seen this kind of coloration on a clown. I know you guys are going to be like, yeah, yeah, sure. But I don't know if you can tell, um, but it's like a Wyoming white, but the back half of it is all gray. It's like, it's like cement gray. Uh, I wish I could get a better picture of it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to, at least not clear. So I'm not going to waste your guys' time, but you guys will see. I'm really juiced on him. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's exploring. There we go. Hopefully he comes back out. Either way, just really cool to have. I'm a big fan of clowns. I don't know why, but I really do like... Well, you can tell the kind of coloration there. Either way, I'll show you guys in the future, but I've never seen a, a clown like that. And so, just really excited for that. Um, uh, but yeah, you know, that's uh, that's the tank. That's the update. Um, sorry for the weird cut there. Anthea's for sure growing. I'm excited for this guy. He's definitely part of the tank now. Real big personality. She doesn't really seem to care too much about him, which is great because I was worried that they were going to have some beef, but they don't. Uh, I put food in the tank. Everyone goes crazy. Even this one, which usually you don't ever see. Um, Possum Rass is actually doing super, super good, so I'm super excited about that, but Anyways, guys, yeah, I wanted to just make a little update video, show you guys that the tank is starting to get back to stable. I do have an algae issue, though, that I am trying to deal with. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll see how this goes. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's definitely some red here. Uh, but it's not, you know, it doesn't look like cyan to me yet. Um, a lot of you that said I need more flow, I did crank it up. This is starting to go away, so that is good. Um, I am seeing this, though these little spots and uh i'm not really worried about it being cyano yet uh but we'll see we'll see how things go because um i also see a little bit back there and uh eptasia must have made it back there but you know these are just things we're living with um but um my next move is gonna do a pretty big water change i think the tank is really gonna need it gonna do about a 10 or 15 gallon water change um, do the sump and then 10 gallons out of here and just let it whole cycle, you know, and then really start to go from there. But so far stuck to plan back to basics, sticking to water changes, got my kept, excuse me, <laughs> got burp there, got my chemistry, right. And then just super excited about, I got a sump or not a sump, but yes, I did. Um, I got a, a skimmer that's not like super tiny. Um, and it's really good and it's really putting in work and I don't know if that Chato or that Kato is doing anything Oh, you can see him. Look at that. It's a weird coloration, right? Uh, hopefully you saw that, but That enough said. Thanks for another episode. I will see you in the next one. Thanks everyone <laughs>